Hey, this is Kendrick with Technology Interpreters. And so today I'm going to be walking you through just some of the challenges uh, in the guide point CTF. And so today we're going to talk about URL decode. It's a simple thing. I didn't know much about it until I started doing it in practice and red teaming, but it's something that you definitely should know. So this is like the only the first one I've tackled. I've actually got some more answers on the sheet uh, to the left here. But the thing is, I want to walk through these one by one and create separate videos for so those who might be looking for a certain topics. So it says it's hexable and wants you to decode this string. So if you look at the string, one of the things you're immediately looking for is all these different percent signs. OK, so URL decode. Let's go ahead. And I'm going to go over and we're going to talk about what URL decode is. So first, I'm going to use a tool called CyberChef. If you just go to Google and type CyberChef, you'll find it. It takes you to GCHQ.GitHub.io. And once you're there, simply paste the text here. Now, also, you can save this to a file and you can actually open it as a file by clicking there also. So once it's there, it's sorry, this is your input. This is your output. CyberChef is a tool that is used by so many security professionals to uh, translate and decode things. So what you want to do is I've already got it typed in here. So type URL in the search and then you want to choose decode. And simply when I click URL decode, I'm going to show you what it does. It says it converts URL percent. It converts a URI URL percent encoded characters back into the raw variables. That's what the, the decode does. OK, and what the encode does. So you understand what's happened is it encodes problematic characters into percent encode in a format supported by browsers. So basically URIs and URLs are the things that you type in browsers. So things that may not work in, in web browser, it encodes it and makes it in a format that fits into your web browser. OK, and so when I go ahead and I click URL decode, it immediately begins to work. And guess what? There's a flag. But there's an issue with this flag because it's got a 47 there and it should be God point security. So in the beginning, let me show you this. When you're doing the CTFs, you have to pay attention because they show you a lot of times what the flag format is. And so you can see it's GPSCTF, Storm CTF, or miscellaneous hashtag. See that? Miscellaneous hashtag, hashtag text. When I go here, I got a 47. It doesn't match any of these. So what I did is I simply went over to my notepad. I copied it out, make sure there are no spaces before or after it. And then I came back. And so I went to the challenge and I simply pasted it in by clicking here, paste it in. And I simply fixed it on a text, but I got rid of the 47 and I typed the GP. I submitted this one. And of course, the this one's already solved. So once again, this just helps you. You need to know these different formats and encoding. And so CyberChef is a very powerful tool to help you with that. So I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all things cybersecurity.